Hey everybody, Demi here. This video is going to be focusing on getting gunmetal skins working in Source Filmmaker. As you can see, I already have a bunch of weapons set up with varying degrees of wear. So in order to do this, we're actually going to have to manually update Source Filmmaker with the latest TF2 content from gunmetal or later. This is because all these weapons you see here were recently updated to have new models and new textures, so if you try this on an older version, they're actually not going to work at all. Alright, so... In order to get these skins working, we're going to need a custom texture. To get these custom textures, we're going to be working with a site called weapons.tf. Alright, so this is weapons.tf. It's a website used to simulate weapon skins. So you just type that into your browser and press enter and you're going to see this menu pop up. So you can choose your collection and you can choose whatever you want to use. In this case, we'll be using Spark of Life Metagun. So you just click one and wait for it for a little bit and when it pops up, you can actually rotate the model. By default, it's going to show up uh, as factor new on red. So you can click any of the buttons on the site to change this. We're going to go to field tested and we're going to change it to blue. As you can see, there's some sp uh, patterns like blood spatters and stuff. You can click the wear button to just randomly generate a new pattern over and over and over. So once you're happy with how it looks, you can press the gear and save the texture. You just want to right click that and save the image as however you want to call it. I usually like to go with a naming scheme where I call it... Um, the name of the skin, in this case, it would be Spark of Life. Then, I would go with the wear. I, this was field tested, and then you want to just go with, um, for me, I use the team, so blue. So after you save that, you can actually just quit out, and we can just get to editing. Okay, so now that we have our image saved, we can actually just open this up in GIMP or whatever photo editing software you like to use. Since GIMP's free, I'm just going to be using that. So, all we have to do is just go over to edit, uh, we just want to transform this, so let's see, we want to go to transform, and then we just want to flip it vertically, like that. Now all we have to do is just export this as a PNG file, we can actually just overwrite it, and export, give it a second, and there we go. We can just quit out of GIMP, and we, what we want to do now is open up BTF edit. All of these programs and the links to download them are available on my channel page, so just feel free to check that out. So once we open up VTF Edit, we want to actually Control i to import. Now we want to go down to our downloads and click the image we just used. So we just click OK, and this should show up. All we want to do is just Control s to save, and we want to save this as, let's say, Spark of Life. Yep, just like that, and that should save it as a VTF file. Right here. So we want to copy that and you want to navigate to Source Filmmaker Game TF Materials Models uh, Weapons. Whoops. Weapons C Models. Uh, in this case, C Metagun, and we're just going to paste that in there. Alright, so now we can open up Source Filmmaker again, and what we want to do is take a look at our Metagun. We're going to right click that and add override materials. Then we're going to show the element viewer model the metagun. This uh, row over here, material name, you want to just uh, select it and copy that. Then we add an attribute. We want to take a string and dollar sign base texture, which is exactly what it sounds like, just a base texture for it to build off of. You're going to see our purple and black uh, missing texture thing. And what we just want to do is paste that in there. That's going to give us our metagun back. And then we want to take that last bit and replace that with whatever you named your skin. In this case, that would be Spark of Life, Field Tested Blue. And there you go. So, as you can see, the skin's working totally fine. So, you can do this with any other skin as long as the weapon actually has a skin for it. For example, I can also change it to Spark of Life, uh, Factory New Red, which I already had beforehand. So, yeah. It's a little bit of a pain at first, but as you go through, you'll get uh, more and more used to it. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out, and again, all programs that I use will be linked in the channel, so feel free to check those out.